There you are, Clem. Where have you been all this time? I think this one needs a part two. This one needed a part two as well. Everyone else is long. Goodness. Is that you, Chloe? You've grown so much, haven't you? Matron and I. It's you. It's really you. Hi. Oh dear, I see you still look exactly the same when you're crying. Well, I. What? What's going on here? Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hug you out of nowhere. Before I knew it, I... I was just so happy to see you again. Ah, oh, it's no reason for you to apologize. It's lovely to see you again, Chloe. You too. Ah, oh, look at you. You're still the same darling girl. Dar darling young lady. I've always known after all, aren't you? I'm glad you finally came back too, Clem. But I wish you wouldn't run away like that. I just went to look for something, that's all. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, Matron, where's Joseph? You haven't heard the news, then? I'm afraid he's no longer with us. He passed away about four years ago. He passed away? One day, he went out shopping in Rouen and was caught up in an accident. I'm... I'm so sorry. Sweetie, why are you apologizing? I had no idea if I hadn't been acting so stubbornly. If I hadn't convinced myself I shouldn't come, even though I love it here. If I'd just been more honest with myself. If I'd just come here from the beginning. Haha, <laughs> somebody there? The other children? Ah, there you are, Clem. Where have you been all this time? Oh, what are you crying for? Um, these are the children I'm looking after at the moment. Everyone say hello to our visitor. Okay. I'm Mary. Huh? What's going on? Aya? Come on, Polly, you gotta say hello. Chloe, the mercy of orphanage you love is right here, you know? So it is. Maybe we should have all we should all have some tea. Now seems like a good time as any. Will you give me a hand making it, Chloe? Of course. But yeah, I from that day forward I stopped avoiding the orphanage. I made a habit of going there whenever the opportunity presented itself. I buckled exactly the way I thought I would. I was the same weak little girl I always was, forever craving the warmth of the orphanage and forever wanting to be surrounded by the lovely matron and the children. When I was there, the world felt bathed in happiness and smiling faces. But yeah, Chloe, Chloe's like fine, as a character. Because I never knew my fa mother and father, all my memories of this place were the only ones I had of my childhood. For me, the orphanage I can visit now was exactly the same as the one I fondly remembered from then. When I was there, I could be at peace. I could keep deceiving myself for as long as I needed to. Yet, when I was there, I knew. I knew my heart wasn't as pure as I wanted to think it was. My garden, beautiful as it was, continued to stay enclosed. Yeah, Chloe's like, she's like mid-tier for me. Like, she, she's like, nothing amazing, but she's like, not, she's far from bad. Like, I, I would say, like, I kind of like her, but I also, like, I don't care heavily about her. But, like, she's, she's fine. Honestly, it's very, it's very hard to think of Sky characters where I'm like, oh, I love this character. The only ones that, like, come to mind are, like, Joshua, Kevin. Maybe Estelle wouldn't be, like, best character, but Estelle would be, like, the tier under Kevin and Joshua. Kevin and Joshua are, like, two of my favorite Sky characters, period, the end. Estelle would probably be, like, the tier under that, maybe. I don't know, maybe when I'm done with Sky 3, I'll put more thought into it, of, a, of like a tier list or something. <laughs> I know I didn't intend to stay out that long. It's so easy to lose track of time when I'm at the orphanage. I better hurry back to the dorm. Zin also up there, not of Joshua Kevin caliber, but... Good character. I mean, I said this in Sky 2. I really like the characters as a group. I feel like Sky 2 did super well with the character chemistry rather than just like the characters on their own. Like characters on their own, it's really hard to be like, oh yeah, they're 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 like amazing characters, but they work well as a group. I think Sky 2 did really well. Or I did I think it did pretty well with the uh with the character interactions and character 
chemistry and everything. So, like, as a group, I'm like, yeah, Sky, Sky Group characters are fun. Like, they're not my favorite cast in all of gaming, but they don't need to be. They, they serve their purpose. I really, I'm looking forward. I hope some of these appear in, like, later, like... Cold Steel games and stuff. Like, I, I cannot wait to see all the games and how they cross over everything. It's going to be really exciting. Huh? The lights are already off. Or even, like, the Crossbow games. Maybe Sky characters will appear in Crossbow or something. Jill must have gone to sleep already. Oh, hello. Ah. Good evening, my dear. Are we just saying party members are all characters? I was mostly talking about party members, but I mean, like... All characters is i mean now a lot of characters are playable so i mean like i was mostly talking about like the main sky crew like zin tita agate sherazard chloe estelle joshua like the main ones in sky 2 that you have but then like it's hard because now like mueller's playable julia's playable yeah i mean at the end of the day the only character i do not like even olivier has kind of grown on me like olivier like i don't really hate him as much anymore but like Josette, I don't like. I don't really like Josette. It's really hard to think of characters I don't like. The worst I could say about a character is, like, they're fine. Like, nothing special, nothing terrible. Hello. What are you standing there for? Especially with the lights off. I was just feeling so lonely without my beloved Chloe around to keep me company that I opted to turn the lights off and sulk. You're never around on our days off lately. I don't know where you're always going, but you sure seem to love it there. Where you've been? Where have you been anyway? Words. Sorry for being out so late. I didn't mean to break curfew, but it just happened. Ah, no big deal. Teachers don't suspect a thing. I took care of that. That might not be the case forever if it keeps happening, though. They might not know this. They might know this at some point. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I'll try and make sure to return earlier in the future. Matron Theresa might start getting annoyed if I keep staying out too late, though. Yeah, Josette isn't really a main party member but she's playable i'm kind of just at this point i'm kind of talking about like everyone like the characters that are playable are like yeah do i like them or not mostly but at first in sky 2 it was more of a matter of i was talking about the characters you have for like most of the game like agate shara tita chloe estelle joshua etc because even kevin wasn't like kevin was like introduced in sky 2 but kevin was like kevin was awesome but at the same time kevin is um Kevin is, like, not really the main focus of Sky 2, but he's he's there. He's being awesome. And now in Sky 3, he gets a lot more focus. And Reese seems pretty cool, too. So? Huh? You didn't answer, by the way. Where have you been going? I know. It's a boy, isn't it? No way it isn't. I've just been going to an acquaintance's house. An acquaintance's house? Uh huh. What relationship do you have with this acquaintance, dare I ask? Um, it's a place called Mercia Orphanage. I owe a lot to the matron there, so since I live in the region now, I've been able I've been able to go visit more often than I could before. An orphanage? Oh, hold up. That's the place between here and Minoria, right? Oh, Fooey, I was hoping it was going to be somewhere a little more scandalous. I should have known with you. What do you mean? Well, your answer is such a good girl answer, spending your days off helping the poor little orphans and all. You're a true model student, aren't you? I'm impressed. Poor little orphans? Don't you dare call them that. Uh, what? What right do you have to talk about them like they're objects of pity? And I'm not a good girl. Excuse me. Well, that happened. I didn't think I'd ever see her like that. I've done it again, haven't I? Me and my big mouth. She's got me all wrong. I'm not some kind of model student or a good girl like she thinks I am. That's not why I'm always going to the orphanage. Thank you for giving me the option to save. I was worried that they wouldn't give me an option to save for another 10 minutes and we wouldn't be super close. Am I going? Am I just going to my room? Never mind, found it. 
<sighs> What's wrong with me? My heart just won't stop pounding. 637? Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for like another 8 minutes, I think. Why am I acting like this? Wherever we get, we get. I can very easily catch up. Because I saved right there. Maybe I should talk to Hans. Oh, I'm walking as Jill? I save again. <laughs> the more I save, the better. This isn't Hans' room. You in there, Hans? Yeah, that you, Jill? Hold on, I'll open the door. What the heck are you doing here? It's late. Did something happen? Not really. Your face tells me that's a big ol' lie. Come on in, I'm by myself at the moment anyway. Don't try any funny business, okay? As if I would, now get your butt inside. Probably as soon as they give me like a screen transition would be the best place to stop. So what happened? Something to do with Chloe, right? Oh, I can't keep anything from you, can I? Have you ever fought with her before? Not yet, no. She's the type to apologize before offering her opinion on anything. So we've got nothing to fight about, really. You asking because you have? Yeah. I really hate myself sometimes, Hans. I just can't seem to stop myself from blurting out insensitive stuff, even when I don't mean it. She was really angry, too. Angry, Chloe? Man, I can't even imagine that. I wish I could have seen it. Can you be serious, Hans? I am, I am. Oh, I just... I'm just not sure how to face her now. So I don't want to go back to my room tonight. Can I sleep here? Proposal denied. You're sleeping in your own room and that's final. I don't know what you said, but I'm sure she'll forgive you if you apologize. I don't know. What? Alright, later, Gator. <laughs> Did it actually matter? Jill. Did it actually matter what I picked there? Wouldn't be the first time she's lost a friend over something like this. Hope it works out for her. Ah, Leo. You sure back late tonight? I just walked past Jill too. She was crying. Well, um, that's because... Stop staring at me with that blank look. It's scarier than shouting at me. Let me see something really quick. E7. Controller, you okay? Yeah, okay. There we go. I like her. I feel like I can't understand myself at all these days. Please don't stand behind me like that. It's creepy. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood. She's not looking too good. I always wish I could have a normal life like everyone else. An ordinary family, ordinary friends. Wishing for those things just doesn't get you them. And no matter how hard I try, nothing seems to work. I just can't seem to make any progress. I get you. You were so frustrated you ended up lashing out against a friend who's kind of dense, kind of on the dense side. That's not what happened at all. I'm not you. I might be annoyed at her, but Jill is still very important to me. But, but I'm not wrong either. I'm not gonna, I'm not going there because I pity the children or because I'm a good girl. The children there are wonderful. They don't need pity. I'm going there because I enjoy being there and because it's important to me. I don't need to be made out of made out to be some kind of saint for going somewhere I like. Because I'm not. That's not who I am. I just, I just wanted to be family. Why does nothing work out how I want it to? No matter how much I want to be friends, I want, no matter how much I want friends and family, I just can't get them. Are they destined to forever be out of my reach? You're spilling all the beans tonight, huh? What about you? Is there anything in the world you take seriously? Just one thing where you refuse to compromise? You know, you could be pretty scary when you start shouting. Forget it. 
shouting at you isn't going to solve anything. So, you still don't know why you're mad, right? You're not even listening to me, are you? I just told you why. It's because, well, it's because I'm not going there out of pity. That's not why I'm going there at all. It's because it's genuinely important to me and because... Uh, now I get... Now we're just going in circles. Sorry, but this is boring as sin. Where are you going? At least listen to me. I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you. You can't walk away in the middle of it. Listen, all I'm gonna say is get yourself a clear answer to my question. These things are like a knotted up rope. If you don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. What does that mean? That's for you to find out. Lecter. Oh, Lecter. When he wants to, he can lay down some wisdom. Oh, who am I kidding? He's probably just trying to bully me. Yeah, but what if he's, like, not? No, he's not. He seems like he never takes anything seriously, but in reality, he does. You still don't know why you're mad, right? These things are like a knotted up rope. If you don't untangle the heart of the problem, you'll just get more and more wrapped up in yourself. He's right. Why am I so angry about this? What's got me so worked up? Why? Deep down, I knew all along what I was doing. All that time, I've been pretending not to notice the truth, but I had known since the very beginning. And to avoid facing that fact, I kept desperately clinging on to everything I could, telling myself I was right over and over again, trying to convince myself it was true. Maybe it was because I was afraid that if I accepted it, I was going to lose everything. That was my heart. That was why my heart was so restless. This is probably an ideal stopping point. Yeah, the next day. I'm going to stop here. I can very easily catch up because we're not too far back if I hold O. But yeah, that'll be it for today. If I had, like, if I wasn't doing anything later, I would easily go the extra hour to finish this door. But this is going to have to do. Uh, those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. We'll finish up this door and then we'll move on with the game through Chapter 4 and everything. Should be a fun time. But yeah. Um, tomorrow... Yeah, so assuming everything goes well, we're gonna do, we gotta do, I gotta do Engage tomorrow. So tomorrow will be Engage, then probably like Zillia 2, and then like Wild Arms 3, and then the Sky 3. So probably like Monday, if everything goes well, should be Sky 3 again. We'll see. But yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.